According to NASA, the Geminid meteor shower is expected to be at its peak tomorrow night. And Hunter Miller is an astronomy educator at the Adler Planetarium, just who we're looking for for this segment. Um, so let's talk about how we can view it and what it's going to look like. Well, meteor showers are great opportunities for folks to get out and observe because what's great about them is they don't really require a bunch of expensive tech technology or anything like that. You don't need a big telescope. All you need is to go outside, um, take a look. Really, the most important thing is a little bit of patience. Patience. Okay. What's <laughs> another uh, good uh, tip in terms of maximum viewage here, Hunter? I know we live in a city with a lot of bright lights. Right, so light pollution is really the one thing you'll want to try and avoid um, when watching something like this meteor shower. Um, now, here in the city, that's not always the easiest thing to get away from, but even in a pretty bright place, you'll be able to see a handful of meteor meteors shooting across the sky. The darker location you can get to, the better. You'll be taking a look into the eastern sky, kind of southeast. That's where you'll see the majority of these meteors coming from. They almost look like they'll come from the Gemini constellation. And, you know, how does a meteor shower occur? Can you break that down for us? Right, so that's a great question. So this one's a little unique because it stems from an asteroid rather than a comet like most meteor showers. So this asteroid is circling around the sun and once a year, Earth passes through what is essentially its dust trail that it leaves behind. Mm. And as we pass through that dust trail, all of these little flecks, some of them, you know, the size of a grain of sand, mm. are going into our atmosphere at really high speeds, 80,000 miles an hour, and burning up, illuminating the gas around them. And that's what you're seeing is the these sort of gas trails from just really tiny grains of sand. That's really, really cool. All right, uh, so our heads are going to be, uh, you know, looking to the night sky uh, this week, tomorrow night. Uh, any other special celestial events uh, coming up in the near future that we should uh, uh, have our um, have our sights set on? Uh, well, the big one we're all keeping an eye out for is, of course, the, the solar eclipse that'll be in April of next year. That's a really, really exciting one. But if you want to get a, a little bit of your of your astronomy kick early, come on down to the uh, Doan Observatory on Wednesday nights. Um, that's where I am on every clear Wednesday night. We're out there from 7 to 10, providing awesome views of the sky through uh, the biggest publicly available telescope in Chicago. All right. Hunter Miller, the astronomy educator at the Adler. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you guys so much for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. All right. Well, the big question now is will the weather cooperate for tomorrow's meteor shower? Emily, we'll have your